Hey guys, a video you're about to watch as well, which I've just done actually, is the animal meet and greet here, which is Meet and Shriek, uh, the Chester Well Adventures Resort. It's basically a animal meet and greet. You meet three animals, a cockroach, a centipede, and a snail as well, which you can um, use for, um, no, where you just get hands on. You can't, sometimes you can hold on something, you can definitely hold the snail, cockroach no, but you can feel underneath and sort of top shell. Um, but uh, the snail, no, uh, the cockroach itself is hit and miss if you can hold it or not, depending on how the creature is in the day. But oh no, yeah, it'll say, uh, good script. So, yeah, so, uh, well, <laughs> again, I've just done it because I didn't do a pre intro for it. So, uh, yeah, uh, watch it, guys, and I'll see you. She has again. a nice long one on this side, and what she will do is feel around on the floor because she'll live in leaf litter like this, so soil, lots of leaves on the floor, hide herself away. And then when she's found her food by feeling for little vibrations, then she eats that. Or she can taste as well using her little mouth underneath. Yeah, luckily she doesn't eat other cockroaches, so that's luckily for them. But she does eat lots of dog food. Do you think you know what a cockroach means? Flies, bugs. It's a good guess, but actually, this type of cockroach is edible. Yeah? So you can just stroke it down there back there and you can feel the, the exoskeleton. You feel the little bumps there. Oh, yeah. Yeah? And you can see the stripes as well, and the stripes here, she can move, move her back like that. So the stripes will disappear when she goes all flat, because these are like the underneath bits. Does she like, um, lunge onto you? Because I don't remember her. They look like hairs almost, and they're almost like little hooks on her legs. And that's how she can hold on to climb trees and things if she needed to as well. If you have little hooks on there. Now they don't hurt, they're not hurting me at all, because I'm much bigger than she is. But it's just enough for her to be able to grip on and not can fall I... off. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I think she's good to hold today. Sometimes the females can be... <laughs> well, no, okay. okay Maybe she doesn't want okay, to. No. She's, she was quite comfortable there, I think. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yes, hello. There we go. But yeah, you could hear her hissing earlier. Wee! Okay, go on the run. Stay <laughs> on the run. <laughs> got her on the run. See if she can get comfortable again. But the cockroaches can obviously move. There we go. Nice and fast. Because they are, of course, hunted by other animals that like to eat insects. But actually, they're... The exoskeleton keeps them protected from most other things. And there's that saying that if a nuclear bomb went off, the only thing left in the world would be a cockroach. Absolutely Not sure massive. Now what we're going to do with him, dust him off a little bit, is you can feel his shell as well. So if you go this way, you can feel all the bumps. And if you go the other way, it feels nice and smooth. Yeah, so if you go like this as well, then you feel all the smoothness there. So their shell is made out of keratin, so that's the same stuff as our hair and our nails, and they grow their own shells. So people think that they go and find a new home, but that's something that crabs do, but these guys grow them. Yeah. You can have a little feel as well. Yeah. Just, just solid, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Really, really solid. Because this is an adult, so even though they never finish growing... What's that? What's that? He's coming out now to say hello. They are! Yeah, so they look like antenna, don't they? And you are very right, they have eyes on the end of their ones. So they're not just a feel around. These are very, very sensitive eyes. So obviously if you were to try and poke him in the eye, he sucks them back in just like that. But he's quite inquisitive, he's coming out to say hello. Do you feel brave enough to hold him? You don't have to, it's okay, but you can hold him if you want. You want he's got him? a lot of soil underneath him, so you might not even feel him, to be honest. You might just feel the soil. <laughs> you are that's very active today, Mrs. No. No, that's okay. It's just, this Ooh, one yeah. is just cold. I know. She's she's on the move again. She wants to see what was so good about the snail side. Did you want to try and hold no. him? Yeah, of course. What you do is just have a nice flat hand, because he can wobble a little bit while he's finding himself. Is he, is he quite heavy? Yes, he's a little bit heavy for the size that he is. But there we go, wow. and we'll see if his eyes will come out there. So there he's nearly over. I know, look, he's Pretty shrunk cool. his eyes back in now because he's on a new hand. So he's uh, like, he's oh, to lots of things, yeah, going on. But he, he might poke his head back out, you never know. This, this isn't even him all the way in. He can suck himself straight back into his shell if that's what he wants to do. So he's quite comfortable. Yeah. As is she today. Do you know? That would oh, there we are. Oh, look. Over. oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, look. I know, she thought there was something special all going not, on in there. But look, there you go. His eyes are coming back out, having a good look around. And what do you think he likes to eat? The snail, what do you think he might like to eat? Oh, Hopefully yeah. not my hand. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Luckily for you. Thank Maybe you some other bugs? He's actually oh, the same as the cockroach. Oh, he likes oh, everybody oh, that I work with. Promise me he always sleeps through these things. He's wide awake now. And this is Millie a millipede. How many legs do you think Millie has? 20. <gasps> 20, good guess. Look, can you see how many there are? One. 
Millie, a lot of people think they have a million legs because of their name, but it's actually a thousand. She has a thousand legs. So that's still quite a lot. It's a lot more than what we have. Now we can strike yeah, her as a well. tiny, tiny little bug. It lives on a bug. Isn't that clever? Wow. And you can have a nice little stroke of her as well. Those bugs are very clever as well because they never walk onto my hands. They never make the mistake. They know exactly where they should be and what they should be doing. Not the holding one for because they kind of not, like, launch onto you, don't they? Yes, they exactly. Yeah, so she's using her legs a bit like the cockroach had you, those little hooks on his legs. She, her legs are curved, so she can hold onto me really, really tightly. And she's trying to bury herself down into my hand now. Are you sleepy? I'm not no, so sorry. active anymore. Yeah, I know. She's like, oh, time to go to bed. But see, she has these little antennae, and look how she's using them to have a good feel around, having a look at everyone today. She is wide awake. <laughs> she's definitely not sleeping. Just have a little feel <laughs> under there and see how she holds yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So I remember holding a massive one before at uh, Sea Life, mm -hmm. and they literally do get quite hands on. Yeah, exactly. Well, start so we just have to make sure she doesn't yeah. try and do a runner. <laughs> do you want to see no. what her legs Woof. Do you guys have any questions about the animals? I'm like, I'm sure I'm <laughs> This show is so bumpy. Yeah. Okay? And when we do the dash way, it's not so bumpy. When that we do the speedway. Exactly. <laughs> so like this, you can see all the different stripes. As it's growing, that's where it's just stretching out. And it's like we have different hair strands. And if you, like, you can't see all my nails. Oh, have to my nails. Four of them are um, We do have a spider, but she doesn't come out to say hello to everyone. She stays in her box because <laughs> she's not so keen on coming outside. She likes staying in small, closed spaces. Um, we have stick insects as well, but they're only babies at the moment, so we haven't been yeah. using them yet. But yeah, so is it just these three creatures here? You've just been used for yeah, and we've this got a lot animal. of them and we kind of... Oh, I see, I see. Them. Yeah, so... There's uh, lots of the same species. You know your spider, like, because I know you do like a phobia thing. Mm -hmm. How does that work? We don't do the phobia thing with the spider, just oh, yeah. with snakes, lizards, and the, and the other things. Okay. Yeah. Cool. With the spider courage, it's like an external company, but they also get hypnotists to come in as well. Yes. As part of the program. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's, a big, sorry. Yeah, it's a yeah. big sorry. day. Sorry. No, it's a big day experience, and people come and try and get over their fear of spiders because. <laughs> Are you on the list to try it? No, I'm okay with spiders. Oh, okay. I'm okay like, with them near me. I just don't need them on me. Is there a big success rate with that? It's a 100% success rate. Yeah, the, it's the actually been very, very good. So, are people being actually holding spiders after yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I've had hit this before, so I can actually <laughs> get them now, but I can't, I can't <laughs> touch them. Her programme that she has, she does it everywhere, up and down the UK, she's 100% yeah. successful. Yeah, she's it's actually good. very amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. You're going to put these yeah. back in their little Thank homes you. now, where they've got some nice humidity as well. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so the video just watched there was the um, mini meet mini meet and shriek here at Chester World Adventures. Uh, basically, it is a little um, hands-on experience with some of the bugs. Uh, as you saw, that it was the millipede, um, snail, and uh, cockroach. So great fun. I recommend doing it, uh, especially if you've got a little fear of the creep crawlers themselves. And yeah, so not not all bad experience. Uh, in terms of value for money, yeah. I recommend it. It's only £13 each as well. You know, just something for the kids. I'm not sure if that's £13 for the adults as well. Uh, not too sure. Okay. Uh, but, you know, it's £13 per person, so it's not too bad. Right, so uh, that's done. Um, I, I don't know how the footage actually turned out because of uh, the person that was recording um, doing the thingy. I asked permission um, afterwards if they wanted to be on YouTube and they said preferred not to. So I'm going to have to cut out her. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna cut out um, uh, face. Uh, so yeah, uh, due to um, obviously privacy concerns, so I, I respect that. Uh, and there's also a couple of other people with me as well, but I've cut them out as well. But all in all, yeah, great experience. Not bad. Just a little, little treat, really. It cost me nothing because um, I uh, managed to win the quiz uh, for the VIP event. So thank you for Chester for that. So again, great fun. Thank you. Anyway, if you like the video, guys, if you like and subscribe, I'll see you in the next uh, adventure.